Morning guys, quarter after 11, Saturday morning. I got her all cleaned up along there. Put the zinc rich weld through primer on there. Uh, don't know if it's any good, but we're putting it on anyways. And I got the back side of my patch all primed too. Uh, took the flange tool and run a flange along the top and punched double holes along there where my spot welds are going. Uh, instead of drilling holes, this is what I'm going to do because I don't want that to move. That hasn't moved. It's in the exactly right place where it's got to go. So what I'm going to do, see if I can do this. Uh, I am going to, one second, I'm going to have to set you down here. Not a good job. I got an awful mess here. Anyway, see if we can give you a shot here. What I'm doing. them screws in there uh, so that I can just hook on them with the vice grips pull it up and spot it along my seam there I'll get that all spotted in and I'll be able to maneuver this up and down or whatever I need to do where it is curved and then I can put my spot welds in which I remember somebody saying in the past about this weld through primer so once I get that down there I'll just take this little brush and clean that out so it doesn't spider all over the place so try that so anyways it's come along pretty good uh, I actually think I'm gonna get this in there in one piece uh, got a shield up there to keep the spurt from flying inside so I have a I haven't taken the dash pad off yet, I don't want to burn it. Uh, I gotta take it off, but just didn't want to get at, get into that right yet. So anyways, that's my patch, uh, which is gonna, gonna work out pretty good. That leaves me a, just a little bit of a ridge there, and like I said, I can pull up on that with the vice grips and just hold it tight while I tack it. I had a hard time getting the the burr off the bottom of the thingy there, but I got it off the little file scraped it out so anyways this is where I'm at on the patch uh, I'm not gonna put the camera around the welder so as, as I'm seeing a little sparks or a uh, little snicks on my uh, lens here so I'm gonna stop doing that um, yeah I just watched a video of DW Darren's there and he has a book on Novus well this one here, the bottom 75, but it should be the same setup as a 74 and this is what I really really need is this how to set up the bushings. Um, I don't know, I still got to get new bolts, but I don't know if there's washers that go under there in between the two or whatever, I don't know. I don't none goes in between the two, but I'm not sure about the bottom, so yeah, that would be just, that would be just great um, if I could get a exploded view of the how the chub frame goes on. And by the look of this, the uh, long ones do go up front, so I didn't figure that much out. Um, I say I'm no great rush on that because like I said I'm gonna put this on a rotisserie, but. And I gotta get that subframe in here this weekend before it snows. Uh, so I think it's coming. Coming shortly. 
So anyways, I'm going to shut you off here, see if I can get this all tacked in, and then I'll turn the camera back on, and see what kind of mess I've made, but so far this, this turned out pretty good, I like it. Um, yeah, I, I never thought I should have probably used a chisel along here, but I didn't. All I used here was uh, just a, that round part of the hammer. I just held it down, uh, clamped it along here, and start beating it down towards the, to try to get the right shape. Uh, I wasn't quite sure how to put a line on it, but it probably would have worked better. It gave me a guide to eat on, but I should have had, I should have used the chisel maybe. Anyways, it's underneath there, and I'm going to bondo it up. And when I'm all done, I'll just take the zip blade and zip these screws off and put a little weld over them. Uh, that way I'm not pushing down on this. So I don't want that to move. I need that to stay in the right place. So, anyways, like I said, I'll turn the camera back on once I get her all tacked in. And then it'll be just uh, sitting down trying to weld this back in one piece without warping it. So, I'll be back. All right, I, uh, it's 20 to 2, and this is as far as I got so far. I just want to give you a shot before I sit down and start welding this in solid. Uh, gonna go back over some of my plug welds, and the spot welds are, I guess, and fix them up a little. They were high, so I grinded them down, so I just want to clean them up a little. Uh, and there, there. It's looking pretty good. Um, the, the ends are a little weak, so I got some building up to do here, but it's slowly getting it. So the metal's really weak there, so but it's coming. So just like I said, want to give you a quick, uh, just a quick shot of where I'm at, um, so I can give you a shot when it's all done. Uh, you're right that the uh, weld through primer is. That's crap. Uh, what a mess. It just splatters everywhere. So I had to go underneath with a file and just pick this up with a zip blade and knock some of it off so it would weld good. So, But I'll be back when she's all grinded or all uh, welded solid across there. So far, so good. She's not heating up, not warping. And I think it's going to work. So I'll be back. All right. I'm back. Enough for today. I got a pass all the way across the dash panel, cowl panel, windshield support panel. I'm not sure what it's called, and there's so many different names for all this stuff. Anyways, uh, I got it in there, and I didn't warp nothing, which is good. Just took my time. Uh, not pretty, but I got to go over this again. I just grinded it, wire wheeled it, and I'm trying to build up the corners here because they're really weak. And I'll just keep grinding until I get that nice and smooth. Uh, taking a lot longer than I thought it was wood. I was hoping to get it fiberglass to body filled today, but that's not going to happen. This corner is the same week but I don't want to cut up on you here because it was very important to keep that line right there because that's once these are folded up these little brackets here the windshield sits on those um, so anything below it's all right it's covered uh, just those things got to be above that it's got to be good and I didn't disturb that, so I'm hoping, I'm hoping. I have my pattern piece, which uh, sits on there nicely. Feels good, following the curb good and everything, so that tells me it didn't, didn't warp. So I'm happy about that. <laughs> um, still got a... Like I said, go over it again, fill in my little holes. And 
tomorrow morning. I'll bring out the wind chill and set her in there to see how much bondo or body or uh, fiberglass and bondo I can get away with. So I think it's going to turn out good. I can't believe I got that in there in one piece, but it happened. So I trim a hole out here for the for right here. Um, it's not too bad though. Nothing serious. Just take a little zip blade and trim it out just to make it look neat. Um, I don't know if there's seam seal on there. I might put some there just to seal it up. I believe there was. Can't really remember, but I'm going to put some there anyways, just to, like I said, just seal it up so the water don't get in there. And I did use this. Uh, I don't know if it's any good, but it's in there, along with the weld through primer, which was a bugger to weld. I had to end up grinding it out, so where I had the weld on the spot welds anyways. Up here wasn't bad because it was on the other side, but a little bit of protection in there. So this batch take me a lot longer than I thought it was gonna. I mean I had the stool there and I just sat there and just took my time. Had the air jigger here, cooled my welds down because I really didn't need this warping. This is uh windshield's gotta fit. <laughs> so Anyways, we'll find out tomorrow. And I guess we're going to call this part two um, of this repair. I um, guess it's going to be a part three. Like I said, I never thought it was going to take that long. But, it did. Just take my time to make it look good. So, uh, Yeah, I haven't been out here all day. I just, I took a little while there and had a senior's nap, like HPR would say. I didn't sleep, but it was nice to lay down, just take take a rest. Um, I wish I had a week steady to go at this car. Uh, I'd get something done. Some major progress. But, it's coming. It's gonna be a, it's a lot of weekends coming up. Got uh, 10 days off at Christmas, probably find himself out here quite a little bit, so uh, hopefully by then she'll be ready to flip over and uh, clean that bottom up and get a look at it, real good look at it. Yeah, um, yeah, VW Darren, if, if you get a chance, there's no hurry, um, if you can get a diagram on that subframe of that book, that'd be that'd be great. That'd be great, cause I I really don't know how it goes together. Uh, there wasn't enough left there to, for me to tell. So, but I, on either car, so uh, that would be good. I really appreciate it. So, if you have, if you get time, that'd be good. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah. YouTube's been changing a little and. Uh, I'm not used to it yet. And last night, uh, it has uh, a little spot there goes up in the inbox and says contact something. Well, I made a mistake and hit the wrong button. Uh, I didn't even catch the name, uh, but if anybody noticed that I hit the wrong button, I apologize for that and you want to put it back up there. Uh, I certainly hit the approve button. Uh, it just the screen jumped or something and I flicked at the same time and hit the wrong box so I do apologize for that and uh, like I said go ahead and put it up there again and I'll take care of that uh, I don't know exactly what all that means yet but I think it might be to notify for videos I'm not sure which I haven't been I've been having trouble with that too and I finally found some some of you guys is had videos up that I didn't know and uh, so now I've got to go back and watch some of them so yeah they're changing it all around or something I just get used to one way and they change it on me so but we'll figure that out too uh, 
Yeah, seeing Yukon Rot back there. Glad to see you back, man. I like that car. 57 Chevy. Nice old car. Uh, anyways, like I said, I'll plug more weld this up and put the fiberglass and uh, bond all to it and make it a done deal. I'll give you a shot of that. So that'll be part three, I guess. So, um, thank everybody for watching, all the comments, and you guys putting videos up so I can learn this stuff. So, take care. We'll talk to you later. Bye.